everyone it's don dover it's 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 just don dover we're done it we gotta pack it up i have some news so as it turns out don dozo is a bugged pokemon whenever it has tatsugiri in its mouth and it uses order up there is an interaction with it that is actually a bug that has mattered a lot but before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And so my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think about this news? I think it's pretty interesting. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. I'm a little congested today. Sorry, you know, whatever. If you want to support the channel and help me get stuff to not get congested, uh, check out the Patreon, YouTube membership program, and the Twitch sub program. Uh, all those get you an extra video at the top of each week. But... Let's get into it. So the other day, Play Pokemon uh, tweeted out, Hey everyone, uh, we have an update on the update. So we go look at the update on the update. And it says a couple of things. It's like, hey, you know, at the end of February, we'll be changing some stuff about the game uh, that has made it run poorly. Or like maybe it's just like not a great feature. So like if you actually look at this, um, here's I'm, I'm going to read some of these out, even though they're not like related to the video. Uh, functionality added for Pokemon boxes. Uh, from Pokemon summary, players will be able to change the Pokemon's nicknames, markings, held items, mark or ribbon related titles, as well as being able to reorder moves, have Pokemon remember moves, have Pokemon forget moves, and use TMs. That's actually really big. It was really annoying having to move them to your party to do all of that. So now you can do it directly from the box. Like, that's a huge feature. Uh, you can also swap out items, uh, in the box. You can do a lot of cool stuff. When in the battle team view, Pokemon in your boxes that are assigned to a battle team will now have their icons displayed in a darker hue if those Pokemon members are part of the battle team that is currently being displayed. You know, just nice, interesting stuff. Uh, what else here? Like, here's some bug fixes. Here are the Terra battle fixes. It's They're going to fix the play rough glitch. That's kind of cool. Um, during battles. These are the big ones. These are the big ones that actually matter towards the game. So... Type matchups against a Pokemon that have fainted will no longer appear when selecting a move or target in double battles. So this actually, when you're teaching someone how to play the game, this comes up a lot. Uh, let's say that there is a dark type across the field and there is a, I don't know, a ghost type across the field. Like sometimes what will happen is like if you're clicking a fighting move and the dark type is fainted, it'll still acknowledge that it's super effective despite the fact that there is a ghost type across the field and the dark type is now gone. So... Yeah, I, I think that's actually a pretty important bug fix. Like, that's, that's like, really bad for newer players. Uh, Azoric that is terrestrialized and is disguised as another Pokemon via its illusion ability can be identified as Zoroark by using the check target option. This is a bug and will be fixed. Like, you know, Zoroark stocks can actually go up now. When Azoric has terrestrialized and is disguised as another Pokemon via its illusion ability, the type matchups and moves are displayed based on the type of the Zoroark. Based on the type of the Pokemon Zoroark is disguised as rather than Zoroark's Terra type, this is a bug and will be fixed, so it just never updates if Zoroark terrestrializes. Here's the big one. Here's the, well, I guess we'll read this one first. If a Pokemon terrestrializes after using the Destiny Bond and then faints, the effects of Destiny Bond will fail to activate. This is a bug and will be fixed. Okay, the big one. The stats of a Dondozo with a Tatsugiri in its mouth will increase when Dondozo uses Order Up, even when the move should have been negated, for example, by an opponent using Protect. This is a bug and will be fixed. This isn't the only way that it can be negated. There's also if the move, um, what is it called? There's also if like the Pokemon turns into a fairy type and now it doesn't affect it. Like that, it still gets the boost from order up. This is huge. So let me repeat that for those of you who don't understand. When Don Dozo has Tatsugiri in its mouth and it uses order up, if order up connects onto a Pokemon, Don Dozo will get a stat boost based on what type of Tatsugiri is in its mouth, whether it's the speed boost, the attack boost, or the defense boost. This will still happen if order up is used on a protecting Pokemon or a Pokemon that order up doesn't affect, like a fairy type. It will, it will still get the stat boost. And we have just accepted that as a feature, and we thought, wow, Dondozo is crazy. It's a bug. And they just told us that after months of playing this game, after Dondozo winning tournaments. So let's let's just explain like the relevant situations that this might occur in. Uh so in series one, Dondozo really didn't like facing off against like uh Meowscarada. So there were a couple of situations where this could be big. Uh, let's say that, like, you have a Tailwind active, and Dondozo is also on the field. Well, 
if the opponent's trying to stall out the Tailwind and they have like Mouscarada on the other side of the field and you have the speed boosting Dondozo, what you could do is order up into the Mouscarada and get the speed boost on their protect despite them trying to like stall out your Tailwind. And then the next turn, you still outspeed them. So like that's like one big situation. Another one is let's say that the opponent has a Murkrow on their team and a Pokemon that's going to protect and your Dondozo is the attack boosting variant. Well, let's say the Murkrow hazes and the other Pokemon protects and you order up into the protecting Pokemon. Despite the haze, your Dondozo has now gotten an attack boost because of the fact that it went for order up after the haze went off. Like, here's the thing. Like, it, it, it made it so, like, there were a lot of situations where Dondozo should have lost momentum, but it just didn't. And we just kind of accepted that. Uh, like, yeah, like, if you, like, get clear smogged, if you get hazed, like, those are huge. But being able to order up into a Pokemon that's trying to make a defensive play or like into a Pokemon that isn't affected still gained you some momentum and that's like the big value of Dondozo. So that was like really big and it was, I, I, here's the thing, right? This is the results of Liverpool Regionals. Dondozo won the whole thing and it's hard to believe that there was never a situation where Dondozo didn't order up into a protecting Pokemon and it didn't matter. Uh, what I will say is that this does not take at all away from the achievements of the people who placed high with Dondozo or won the tournament or got like second at, uh, what is it, uh, or the person that got second at San Diego Regionals, like, or won this regional, you know? This doesn't take away from that at all, in my opinion, because we were all under the assumption this was a feature and had this never gotten patched out, no one would have said a thing. <laughs> so yeah, like we were all playing with the same rules. We all understood how Dondozo worked, even if it wasn't intentional. So I'm just gonna put that out front. This doesn't take away from them at all. Uh, but it is interesting food for thought that there was a Pokemon that was bugged this explicitly and in a way that mattered so much that it 100% had to have activated it at some point during the Swiss rounds or in top cut. Like these things definitely mattered. <laughs> so that's just like super crazy to think about. Uh, but yeah, no, it doesn't take away from the wins at all in my opinion. Uh, I just want to like bring it up like it definitely happened. So now let's talk about like Dondozo's viability. Dondozo is already a Pokemon that is like super duper viable. And if we just take a look at like one of the most recent tournaments, um, let me just pick a random one. Or I guess let's just go back to freaking. let's just go back to uh, Orlando. Sure, I think that's like the most recent regional. Dondozo placed very well. There were a decent amount of Dondozos in top cut. There was Chepacross who got fourth. There was Ashton Cox who got second. Uh, there were a ton of Dondozos up here. Did the order ups into protects matter possibly during the run? Yeah, but to be honest, there are there are a lot of situations where you'll never protect versus a Dondozo because Dondozo is the type of Pokemon where because it runs like leftovers and like substitute and stuff, you almost can't protect or you almost can't afford to protect into it because you need to can you need to keep up that pressure, right? You need to make sure you're consistently doing damage to this thing to make sure it doesn't get to like set up on you or sweep. And a big part of that was order up. This is a pretty big significant nerf though. This is this is like important because where before you really couldn't afford to protect into an order up Dondozo because it would just get stronger. Now you can. Like I, I'm not gonna say that Dondozo is bad now. I still think it's like one of the greatest archetypes in the format. I still think it's gonna be extremely powerful. Um, but now it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Like you can, it. I, I can't understate how big that is. Like being able to protect to stall out a turn of like Dondozo that's been poisoned by like toxic spikes or something. That's a, that's a super important thing where before it was like, oh, if I protect now, they're going to get an attack boost and now they secure the KO next turn. Where, no, now you can like protect Intimidate Cycle. You can do all these different things. You can parting shot into it. You can baby doll eyes if you really want to. Uh, so it's still going to be consistent, but now the counterplay for it is a little bit more reliable. And the counterplay is exactly the same. Like there's there's not a big difference in counterplay besides the fact that protect is now like a thing that you should be doing. So yeah, like I, I just, I just want to point that out. I still fully expect Dondozo to be top cutting a lot of tournaments, if not winning a few, considering how close it came to winning Orlando Regionals and how many teams it was on in top cut of Orlando Regionals. But I wanted to bring you guys the news that uh, Dondozo is nerfed, and this is one of the rare instances of a Pokemon receiving a significant nerf and a mechanic being changed significantly in the middle of a game and not between generations. So yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.